Dr. Dream, 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 The imagination mover. And as an imagination mover, viewer, I'm going to take your imagination and put it over there. Yeah, it's in another body, another universe, another time period. Yeah. And right now, you're inside the body of a future talk show host by the name of Tick Talker. And as Tick Talker, you're in love your show. And you're conducting an interview with author Zorko Kantflog, who uh, has uh, just recently written a book about crashing on planet B1.2 and becoming a god to the inhabitants that he crashed around. Yeah. So you're asking him questions, and he's telling you the answers, of course, and you're doing the best you can, considering you never read the book. <laughs> the staff member did and quickly told you in a minute or two what the book was about. But you try to come up with some questions, and things that were written for you seem to somehow make sense, but he starts choking you and saying, <sighs> I don't know. I crashed on that planet and I was somebody. When I go, uh, they just laugh in unison. And I'd go, Grah! and they'd applaud. It was amazing. I, my feet never touched the ground once. No. They just lay in front of me and I just walk on top of them. It was wonderful being a god. And since I came back here, everybody treats me like a regular person. So I, I wrote this book. Yeah. And at my first signing, just yesterday, you see, I, I was signing an autograph for one person who happened to show up. And he just looked at me and smiled and no bow, no salute, nothing. Just walked over. He didn't even say thanks. I am mortified. I can't take it. He begins holding on to your left leg and crying all over your pants. It becomes a little too much. The audience is gasping and 
You decide to transport him back to the green zone. Yeah, and you decide to go into the Lucid segment of your show where Lucid is asleep and describes perfectly the dream that he's currently involved in. And so you switch to Lou, he says. Thank you, Tick. Yes, I'm in a dream at the moment uh, where things are just whizzing by me. Things are flying over me. Things are zooming by me. They're zooming underneath me even. People are walking very fast. People are flying things, driving things. I'm getting out of this thing, out of this room here. I open a big iron door. And I go inside the room and shut the iron door. And I turn around and there's a yodeling contest going on. And suddenly, I'm on top of a huge, huge, very high mountain peak. And suddenly, the explosion goes off, <laughs> sending me up in the air. And I'm flying over a large body of water. And I land in it. <laughs> I'm swimming underwater. It looks to be, I guess it's a fish. It has a body and head of a tiger. It has huge striped fins. I guess it's a giant tiger fish or something. It's coming towards me. It's coming towards me. And I reach under a rock and I pull out a buzzsaw and saw its head off. And I'm waking up. And I realize I'm I'm in a campsite and and there are people sawing trees around me down. That's right. So, viewer, I'm going to take your imagination out of TikToker and give it back to you. Because you always need your imagination, right? You're going to need it sometime, right? Sure. Till next time, huh? Oh, <laughs>